Good afternoon, everybody. Today I'm in the Fairy Forest in Bellingham, Massachusetts. I'm doing Wildflowers 101, episode 11. I am looking for Indian pipe. Here is the Indian pipe. There is a lot of really good information about this plant, so I'm going to just do the short version. Nicknames are Corpse Plant, Ghost Pipe, Ghost Flower, Fairy Smoke, Convulsion Root, and Fit Root. This is a fascinating plant. It has no chlorophyll and doesn't depend on photosynthesis. Many people refer to Indian pipes as Indian pipe fungus, but it is not a fungus at all. It is a parasitic plant that survives by borrowing nutrients from certain fungus and decaying plant matter. Indian pipe is in the heath family. It is a perennial and herbaceous. Indian pipe is white or pinkish white. The flowers are bell-shaped and it can resemble a pipe. The plant is waxy white and translucent white petals. Sometimes you can find black flecks on the flowers or pale pink coloration. Rarely it is deep red. It blooms June until September, has five regular parts. The flower is a half inch to one inch length and it is nodding at first. When it ripens, the flower points straight up. This is how you'll find the Indian pipe a lot, popping up through the leaf litter. For the leaves, there are no apparent leaves. They have small scale-like leaves that are non-functioning. Here you can get a good look at the scales that are on the stems. The stem grows four to eight inches tall and it is white. The stem is scaly looking. They are very tender and break easily. They will turn to mush if handled roughly or picked. They will grow singly or in small clusters. So this one is a small cluster. And of course, I'm just handling it gently. I wanted you to see the flower part. How it, when it nods down, you don't get to see that part. Here is a beautiful cluster. The roots arise from a tangled mass of rootlets. The fruit is an oval-shaped capsule, which the bellflower creates. The seed capsule releases tiny seeds into the wind. The habitat for Indian pipes are forest, dense forest, woodlands. They like beech and pine trees and dead tree stumps. They like acidic soil that is moist and damp. They like sun and shade. Pollinators are small bees, small flies, and skipper butterflies. Indian pipe can be found throughout New England. It is native, but it is considered rare. Here is a good example of how easily they can hide underneath the leaf litter. These guys are not ready yet, so we'll just leave them like that. Now Chris is going to show what the inside of the Indian pipe looks like. I hope you have a chance to get out and enjoy this lovely plant June until September. I will leave all the information in the about section as well as a glossary to explain the different terms that I use to describe the different parts of the flower. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. See you next time.